Hi everyone, this is Blake Anderson and in this video I'm going to show you my top 10 assets and plugins that I use in uh, Final Cut Pro. Uh, it is a bit windy out here today. I do have a windscreen on my uh, camera here, uh, but uh, I'm currently here in Oshawa for work. These are assets and plugins that you can use for your videos to spice up your videos and add a little bit of flair to them. Remember, when you walk out here, woo, talking Ric Flair! Uh, definitely these are plugins and assets that are paid. So, you know, you're gonna have to, you know, spend some money in order to get them. Shut up and take my money. But definitely they are, uh, I would say, assets and plugins that very much will enhance your videos and add a bit of spice to them. So I'm gonna go through my top 10 plugins and assets. And the first one is Motion VFX. And so Motion VFX is a plugin that you can use in Final Cut. And it has a great amount of title sequences, uh, different for, uh, forms of um, packages, um, and different design elements that you can add to your videos. So I would highly recommend Motion VFX as um, a go-to for your plugins in terms of getting title sequences and just getting a good kind of overall good designs uh, for your videos. The second plugin that I'm going to share with you is by uh, FX Factory. And FX Factory has a host of different plugins. Uh, I would uh, recommend using some of the um, iPhone and Mac as well as iPad um, template kind of objects that you can play with. Uh, this way you can add, um, you know, these kind of elements of, uh, you know, MacBook or an iPhone uh, or an iPad to your videos to kind of give that very professional look to your tutorials or to showing off whatever product or service that you want to share. The third uh, assets actually is by Mitch Martinez and Mitch Martinez has a great amount of videos. Uh, but most particularly, I like his ink blocks that allow you to kind of create really cool effects in terms of an overlay uh, for some of your reveals for maybe a text, uh, for a text opening. So definitely check out Mitch Martinez. He has a great amount of um, high quality videos uh, that I would definitely recommend. So a fourth um, assets that I would recommend is by Ezra Cohen and Ezra Cohen has a lot of really cool retro looks and uh, CRT kind of style uh, images. So for some assets to add to your videos, I would definitely check out Ezra Cohen for um, some of great assets that give a retro look to your videos. And the fifth um, asset I'm going to recommend is by Studio Innate. Uh, so they have a lot of cool plugins uh, or many different kinds of assets. I just really like their style. Uh, they have some cool kinds of animation uh, uh, sets that you can get. So the sixth asset I would recommend is by Studio 2AM. And they have a cool plugin that you can actually use in Photoshop that allows you to texturize your image. Seventh plugin to consider is uh, Universe by Red Giant Software. Um, they actually are owned by Maxon One is a membership that you can get but definitely check out universe they have a host of different plugins they have a lot of different stylized kind of plugins that can really spice up your videos to give kind of an old look a retro look but it's very endless what you can do with universe uh, in red giant so definitely check out red giant uh, universe an eighth um, asset i would check out is by a juice a Juice has got some really cool assets that you can get uh, for your Final Cut program that you can add to your videos. Uh, I like this kind of cool film look that they have um, provide that gives some treatment to the videos. A ninth asset I would consider is by Video Blocks. Uh, it's not really an asset itself, but uh, a service online, uh, a database of different uh, videos that you can purchase from their website. Uh, they have a host of different kinds of videos, but they also have different assets you can add to your videos uh, with different overlays. So definitely check out Video Blocks is a great uh, source for getting different sorts of assets and different uh, B-roll for your, for your video. 
And the final plugin that uh, I would get you to consider is Magic Bullet is kind of a lot of what I do in terms of treating my videos when it comes to using a LUT and also just kind of allow, I guess, providing some of that mojo look, which is kind of like a movie look to some of my uh, videos. So they also have Clarista, which is a better, uh, I would say, uh, color plugin that you can use to colorize your videos. And also you can um, give some renoising to your videos, so adding some noise that I definitely like. So definitely check out Magic Bullet um, by Maxon. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.